What's up guys, Ronnie here with another composting video. Um, I actually wanted to show you guys today my worm bin uh, because I just got a new batch, a fresh batch of red wrigglers, which are the co most commonly used um, worms for uh, composting, for food composting. So I uh, am getting them established. So if you wanna do it, it's really actually very, very simple. Um, you first start off with a bedding, as you can see here, um, I'm using uh, compost from my uh, outside compost, my leaf compost. Uh, but you can use paper, shredded paper, um, shredded cardboard. Worms really love, love that. And you just kind of uh, plop them in there. As, as I did here, you can see they're plopped in. They're super healthy. They're excited. They're happy uh, to be in their new home. So what I'm going to do today, actually, is I'm going to feed the worms now that they're, they're settled into their new home. Uh, I got the food scraps. Of course, guys, we collect our food scraps. We don't throw food scraps away. Um, number one, again, it, it reduces the methane production from the landfills because when you have organic material and food scraps in, in the landfills, it, it releases methane into the atmosphere. So that's a, that's a primary, uh, a, a great reason to, to, to compost, right? To compost your food scraps. Also too, we live in a very, very remote area, so there's no trash pickup, right? Um, um, keeping, keeping food scraps and trash in the house or even in the trash can outside, um, not only will it smell bad, um, uh, it will attract critters. It will attract animals. Uh, you know, we have all kinds of animals up here. And the last thing I want is like a bear coming up to the house because they smell food scraps. So, um, yeah, we, we compost everything. We compost everything. And really what we find is that we only have to go, uh, take the trash to, to, uh, to the trash center, um, once a month, if that, right. If that, when you recycle, um, and, and you compost your, your food scraps, um, you'll find that uh, there's really very little that actually has to go into the landfill. So um, very, very awesome um, uh, kind of uh, addition to uh, living sustainable, right? Compost as much as you possibly can, recycle as much as you possibly can. So I'm going to toss some of these scraps in there. Uh, there you go. Lay this in here, some vegetables. Um, I've got some... Uh, uh, coffee grounds. Uh, worms really love coffee grounds. I've even got like this leftover pork bun. I'm not sure where that came from, but I do. I do keep my my our scraps in the freezer so that way it doesn't it doesn't rot and turn turn ugly before I get it out in the compost. And also when it's frozen like this, it will uh, provide some some uh, some hydration, some water and fluids for for the worms. So you never have to actually water um uh, the the worm bin right you, one of the things you want to avoid is is getting uh your worm bin way way too soggy right uh, that was an issue i had in the past another tip that uh, i got from marianne who i bought these worms from uh, she's amazing she's based out here in western north carolina um a worm dealer um, but she she mentioned to me that uh the worms actually like a surface area, right? Surface area. They reproduce and they thrive in in a in a wider surface area, um, as opposed to depth, right? So you don't want to you don't want this thing to get too deep uh, with compost and 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 worm castings. Um, you want to always uh, harvest them and, and keep it keep it a really good surface area, a, really, a flat and wide surface area, and the worms will really uh, thrive with that. Um, another lesson that I learned the hard way: my old worm bin crashed. Uh, is because I, I really just a, a, a moron mistake on my part. I, I took this worm bin out um, uh, uh, earlier this summer and, and put it outside and I left it in a spot that was in direct sunlight. And what happened was, you know, we've had a few hot days um, up here on the mountain and it got too hot and the worms, uh, the worms all, uh, all died as a result. It was really, really bad. So um, so yeah, yeah, keep, keep the, if you have a worm bin, if, if it's not inside like a garage situation like this, um, keep it in a shady, cool area because, um, that way, that way the, the worms will be able to be, um, not cook. Basically, I feel really bad for doing that. Now, the other benefits of having a, a worm compost bin or a worm compost system is that you get these castings, worm castings, which, uh, you know, essentially is just worm poop. But it's super, super good for your garden, right? Um, you, you know, you'll have amazing vegetables, amazing like uh, fruits growing. Like if you got, if you grow in tomatoes and things like that, um, 
like this stuff is really really potent and and the plants absolutely love it you can also make um make uh worm tea something known as worm tea i i've done this before in the past i don't know if i was really very successful so i have to get some tips uh some more tips from marianne uh but um you can make worm tea you can actually spray it on onto your garden on on the on the garden bed itself on the vegetables itself and and what that will do is actually really not only makes uh makes the soil uh healthier but um it it uh it deters a lot of pests it, it protects the plants from a lot of pests right the the the, the typical pests that uh, vegetable gardens um usually get attacked by right um so yeah lots of lots of amazing benefits uh, for worm gardens, obviously composting is important. Um, it's just important for sustainability, uh, but then you get the byproduct of, of, of having amazingly healthy and nutritious compost for your garden, right? Again, it's that closed loop, right? You just got to uh, keep keep everything healthy as possible, and then you end up with healthier healthier, healthier produce, right? Um, so that's it, guys. If you guys want to wanna learn more about composting, there's plenty of videos that I learned from, um, and it's really just a simple... Um, simple, low maintenance uh, um, uh, way to uh, be more sustainable with your food scraps and your and your organic trash, right? Um, okay, so yeah, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that was informative. If you guys like the video, if you guys have any comments whatsoever, um, let me know. Hit me with a comment in the comment section below. And of course, as always, please like and subscribe. Help us out on this channel. Uh, beyond that, I will see you guys in the next one. Um, until then, be well, be safe, and well... May the force be with you. All right, guys. Peace.